Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and just a heads up, if you guys hear me notice I'm somewhat stuffed up, it's because I'm dealing with a stuffy nose today. I don't know what's going on with me. I must, I guess I caught a bug at college, or from my father who also is sick. So, this video may take a while for me, so... <coughs> If I sound a bit different, that's why, because I'm dealing with the stuff he knows. Um, so, but in this video, we're going to talk about how Daisy Ridley shares her thoughts of Ray being a Palpatine. Or at least that, uh, um, twist that she was a Palpatine in, uh, <coughs> Star Wars Episode 9. So, let's give this a read. Which I thought was stupid, like... It was predictable because she was so powerful and I had two theories going in. They either got to retcon her being a nobody and potentially make her related to Palpatine somehow. Or they're going to keep her being a, pal uh, a nobody. Or like the third one was Kylo Ren lied to her to her face in um, Last Jedi and uh, she was a Skywalker but to Kylo Ren, who is Skywalker by blood, the Skywalkers are nobodies, pretty much. <coughs> but I doubt I was leaning more towards like the first two theories that I had than the Skywalker bit. And I was right about the Palpatine bit, sadly. Anyways. During The Force Awakens, the origins of Daisy Ridley's, Ridley's Ray were shrouded in mystery. As a young woman had no idea <coughs> Where her family had gone, or why she had she had been left on Jakku. In the last Jedi, Ky Jedi Kylo Ren informed her that her parents were filthy junk traders who sold her for drinking money, and that they were long dead. The rise of Skywalker came along, revealing that Rey was actually the granddaughter of Palpatine, Emperor Palpatine, <coughs> as her father Dathin was one of the Sith Lord's failed clones. So that's her brother's name is Daphne? Okay. I would say kind of like, like explain that in the Rise of Palpatine as I like to call it episode 9. There were a lot of things that they could have explained in episode 9 that they didn't. Like how Palpatine was still around like 40 years 40-50 years later after the defense of Return of the Jedi. Uh, a little over three years after the release of the Skywalker Saga's final chapter, Ridley has shared her thoughts on the Ray Palpatine twist. <coughs> While chatting with Rolling Stones at the Students Film Festival about her new film, her new movie, Sometimes I Think About Dying, sounds like a like, very depressed movie by the name. The Rise of Skywalker ended with the interviewer saying that episode 9 retconned almost all of what transpired in The Last Jedi in regards to the middle entry of the sequel trilogy, passing along the message that anyone can be extraordinary. That's true, and I would have loved, even though I would have loved for her to be like a Skywalker by blood, because that would have like kept the Skywalker bloodline going. And what made sense why, like, she was so, like, um, powerful. I mean, being Palpatine, sure, you can say that's why she's so powerful, but I preferred her to be Skywalker by blood besides trying to rip off their name. If she was going to be any Weiss Linden, like, she was going to be a Skywalker, Kenobi, a Palpatine, I'd rather her be a Skywalker. But I did like the whole. She wasn't she, that the whole she was a nobody arc better because of the anyone can be extraordinary. She had no blood ties to anyone, and I enjoyed that. At least that's why the first two films made it appear. At least the last shot I did. Anyways, the actress answered. So Daisy Ridley. Oh, so that was her answer. Or is the next part it? 
I'm confused. I'm gonna be linking this in the description below if you guys can tell me if that was her uh, response or not. I'll be a much appreciated because I'm right now I'm confused. <coughs> Anyways, so Daisley had never been so concerned with where Ray came comes from. Her parents being nobodies versus the latest of the Palpatine bloodline, but more about what the hearing chooses to do with her life. On that front, Ray did quite well for herself by the time the sequel's trilogy was over. She chose not to follow the footsteps of her maleficent grandfather, despite seeing a vision of herself having turned to the dark side. Maybe Ridley might have taken Ray down a different narrative path had she been part of the pay grade, but it sounds like she's pleased with the final destination with her character and where her ca character ended up. The Rise of Skywalker was one of the most polarizing Star Wars movies, with one of the common complaints being that Redcon must have the last Jedi set up. Though, there's also a segment of the fan base that feels these two movies work really well together. I'm not one of them. Where you fall in the spectrum, The Rise of Skywalker marked long end of the... Blah, blah. The Rise of Skywalker... Wherever you fall in the spectrum, The Rise of Skywalker marked the end of the long-running Skywalker saga that kicked off in 1977 with A New Hope. Whether or not Daisy really ever reprises Rey remains to be seen. As contrary to belief, <coughs> her Lucasfilm social media post from last December was not a tease that she was return returning to to be, to the franchise set in the galaxy far far away and truthfully I know this might be contra somewhat controversial to like s some of my peers but I would be up to get Ray like in terms of I know I said this before let's get a show from Finn's perspective of how Ray trained Oh, uh, Finn, because he was clearly force sensitive. I want to see Finn getting trained in the ways of the force since now he's force sensitive. <clears throat> and I want a uh, show about Ray trying, um, trying uh, Finn, but dealing with her old struggles, like how Finn would in, um, in uh, his own show, whether it's, whether it's anime or live action. And then you could have a show that connects with uh, Poe Dameron, pretty much being a Han Solo. Because they even, uh, I believe one of the character descriptions for Poe is Han Solo like. And Poe Dameron is pretty much like Han Solo. So get, like, maybe get a show about him. If we want to take a break about from the whole Jedi thing, rebooting the, like, restarting the Jedi, uh, um, order. And then maybe, like, if they do go with, uh, with the whole Poe Dameron route. After the Poe Dameron show, have a show where Finn and uh, Ray being the main like the main characters, Poe being the side character, and uh, where like Finn and Ray sets out to find other Jedi so they can help continue the Jedi legacy. Have it be like a twelve part series. I think that could potentially boast well. Especially if they play, like, play their cards right and uh, the writing is top notch. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But, uh. That's just me. I. That's where I would take the Star Wars series saga. In that area, the sequel trilogy era, because even though the movie sucked, I think that uh, if they have that like, good like people who are who are good storytellers moving forward, then kind of like with the prequels, some of the critics, some of the haters of the sequels will turn to be, you know, the movies were bad, but I do enjoy. This show, that show, or this show in the sequel trilogy timeline. 
Kind of like how, uh, or made me better appreciate the uh, sequels. Kind of like how the Clone Wars, because there's like regardless of which Clone Wars show you're referring to, help, has helped some people appreciate the uh, um, the prequels a bit more. I don't know. That's just me. That's uh, I can see how I can see that making them money. Potentially, and in turn could essentially make more money for Galaxy Edge. Cause then, not only are you like taking white like, the characters that you introduce in the sequel trilogy stories further, and potentially putting more love, but you're also introducing new characters, right? That people can fall in love with. <coughs> that could be. In the uh, Galaxy Edge, which is supposedly set in the sequel trilogy timeline, which could be more income for Disney, Galaxy Edge, Star Wars, Lucasfilm, could be a compelling story. Like I said, could turn some critiques into uh, fans of the sequel trilogy uh, era. So it sounds like it would. Disney will win more than they will lose in this scenario if they go what I'm suggesting. That's just me. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. We got one other. Ah, this stuff you know is killing me. And I will talk to you guys later. The uh, article will be in the description below. So, may the force be with us all.